Hi there, I'm Kim MacArthur, and I'd like to give you a personal introduction to the MacArthur & Company Fiction List for 2009. Right now, after 28 beautiful weeks on the bestseller list last year, we have Heart and Soul by the magnificent Mae Vinci out in mass market paperback. It's been on the bestseller list for four weeks, and I'm sure it's going to stay there until December. If you didn't read it in this format, please dash out and buy it in the new one. And uh, we all thank Mae Vinci and her husband Gordon Snell our founders from Dalkey in Ireland. Uh, Penny Vincenzi, The Best of Times, was a great bestseller for us in the spring. It will be coming out next year in mass market. We brought out Anthony Capella's The Various Flavors of Coffee. He's gonna have another new book for us next year called The Emperor's Ice Cream. And there's movie interest in this one. Marsha Willett, that plucky girl, has published two books with us this year. The first one in the spring was called The Way We Were. And the second one, just out now, is called The Prodigal Wife. Marcia is a divine writer from Devon. Linda Holman is Canadian, formerly from Winnipeg, now living in Toronto. And this Saffron Gate is one of our favorite books of the fall. It's all about a woman in the 1920s, when women didn't really do this kind of thing, who follows her lover to Marrakesh in Morocco and tracks him down at the Majorel Gardens. It's all very exotic and fabulously well written. Bryce Courtney's newest book, the author of Power of One, of which we have sold millions in Canada. His newest book is called Fishing for Stars, and we're very excited. And we think this cover is kind of gorgeous. William Gladstone's The Twelve is selling like crazy in Canada right now. It's all about, it's all to do with that 2012, the end of the Mayan calendar. Is the world going to end or not? And what can Max, the main character in the book, do about it? This book has already been bought for the movies by Ian Jessel, the founding president of Miramax Pictures. On the literary side, the more literary side, we have Fault Lines by Nancy Houston, selling like mad in paperback. She was shortlisted for the Orange Prize and the Rogers Writers Trust Prize for Fault Lines and won the Prix Femina in France. Barry Callahan, the magnificent Barry Callahan, also one of our founding authors, our number one ISBN, as a matter of fact, for Barrel House Kings has a new fiction book called Beside Still Waters, which has just been getting spectacular reviews. And I suggest you race out and buy it immediately. Sounding Line by Anne de Grace. This is Anne's third book. Her first book, Treading Water, was shortlisted for the Amazon Best First Novel Award and the Evergreen Award from the Librarians. And this book has just been chosen as a Heather's pick at Indigo, so we're delighted about that. Kate Pullinger, The Mistress of Nothing, is a Kate's first work of historical fiction. I just adore it. I just think it's fantastic. And in fact, it was long listed for the Giller Prize this year. And uh, Kate will be joining us at the International Festival of Authors at the end of October with her new book, Mistress of Nothing. Jean McNeil, a wonderful Kate Breton girl, um, is part of the Scottish contingent. She's now living in London, but she's originally from Kate Breton. And her new book, The Ice Lovers, has just come out now. And it is absolutely brilliant. I'm very biased about all these things, but I am the publisher. And finally, uh, Across the Endless River by Tad Carhart. We published Tad Carhart's first nonfiction book, which was called The Piano Shop on the Left Bank, and it's still selling wildly all over the world. And this is his newest book about the son of a Métis and an Indian guide at, who goes to Paris, gets taken to Paris in the late 1800s. It's fascinating and a beautifully written novel. And that is a personal scamper through our fiction list for fall. Thank you.